Are you at your wit's end with your defective Subaru? Feeling stressed and frustrated with the unending repairs? Take heart, as the California Lemon Law provides a remedy. It grants consumers dealing with persistently defective vehicles the option to get rid of the troublesome Subaru and seek compensation from the manufacturer. Welcome to our video on the Subaru Lemon Law Buyback Settlement Option. In this video, we will provide insights into what the buyback option is, how it functions, the common Subaru defects, affected models, eligibility criteria for compensation, and the very first step you should take in the process. So, without any delay, let's begin. As a starting point, what exactly is the Subaru Lemon Law Buyback Settlement Option? A buyback or repurchase is a resolution offered by the California Lemon Law to address the issues caused by your defective Subaru. It intends to reimburse you for the costs associated with purchasing or leasing the faulty vehicle, including the purchase price and any additional expenses. Under this arrangement, Subaru undertakes to buy back the defective vehicle and reimburse you for the entire amount you originally paid for the vehicle, covering not only the purchase price but also sales and financing charges, service fees, any monthly payments made thus far, repair expenses, as well as costs associated with towing and car rental. It is essential to understand that a fair assessment of the settlement amount involves minor deductions, also known as mileage offset, which take into consideration the period of vehicle usage before the repair issues started. However, as you can see with this particular option, not only will you recover the entire amount you paid for the vehicle, but you will also be eligible for reimbursement of all out-of-pocket expenses related to repairs, towing, and temporary vehicle rentals while your car is being repaired. When all aspects are weighed, there is no denying that the buyback settlement option is without a doubt the most favorable outcome in a lemon law claim for a defective Subaru car in California. Before discussing your first step to file for a Lemon Law claim, let's take a look first at the most prevalent problems found in Subaru vehicles that qualify for compensation. While each Subaru model may have its own distinct defects, some issues are recurrent across various models. Here are a few examples of these issues. Defective oxygen sensor, electrical issues, head gasket failure, spark plug malfunction, faulty airbags, transmission slippage or jerking, excessive oil consumption, defective seat belts, suspension issues, steering system defects, check engine light, and engine overheating. Have you encountered any of these problems with your Subaru? It is worth mentioning that the defects outlined here do not make the full list of all possible scenarios that could deem your vehicle a lemon. The thing is, any recurring defect or issue that substantially impairs the vehicle's usability, safety, or resale value can be used as a basis to file a formal complaint. Now that we're aware of those issues, let's see which car models are covered by the Lemon Law. In California, the law applies to the following Subaru vehicle models. Subaru Ascent, Subaru BRZ, Subaru Crosstrek, Subaru Forester, Subaru Impreza, Subaru Legacy, and Subaru Outback. Are you having repair problems with any of these Subaru models? It's time to find out if your Subaru's issues fall within the guidelines of the Lemon Law. We're getting this question out of the way here because the truth is, not every defective Subaru is eligible for compensation under California Lemon Law. To be classified as a lemon, your car must satisfy one of the following conditions. The vehicle has been brought back to the Subaru dealership at least two times due to a significant safety defect. The vehicle has been brought back to the dealership at least four times for a non-safety defect or issue. The vehicle has been kept at the Subaru dealership for a cumulative period exceeding 30 days due to a combination of defects. Now, this is a big one. If any of these requirements are fulfilled within the first 18 months or 18,000 miles, the car is automatically labeled as a lemon with very little room for dispute. This concept is known as the Lemon Law Legal Presumption. But what if the car issues started after the first 18 months or 18,000 miles? Beyond this time frame, the vehicle may still be eligible for a buyback compensation if the persistent defects or issues originated during the vehicle's warranty period. 
usually three years for bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty or around five years for powertrain warranty. Not sure what the next step is? If you're saddled with a defective Subaru in California and dealing with severe defects or issues that started within the warranty period and the manufacturer's attempts to fix them have proven unsuccessful, you might be eligible for compensation. There's only one clear path ahead. Your next step should be to start the Lemon Law process promptly by consulting with an experienced California Lemon Law attorney. By doing so, your attorney will accurately evaluate your case, provide individualized legal advice, and guide you through the claims process. It's time to take action and get the compensation you deserve. Remember, the law is on your side, and you don't need to get stuck with a lemon. For assistance to file a Lemon Law claim in California, visit LemonLawyers.org by clicking on the link in the description below or call 323-553-7525 today for a free consultation. Thank you for watching.